Cake Pops Halloween by Bakerella. Tips, tricks, and recipes for 20 spectacular treats. And this is one book that I've gotten on Overdrive, a service offered by that you can get through your library if it's one of the online services that they do, like uh, Hoopla. I know mine does um, Linda and a few others. And if I'm, if you hear an echo, I think it's because of like the drums, the drums, if you can call that a drum set, that's not being used. But yeah, she goes through the basics of cake, making cake pops like what you would need and what equipment, stands, she even goes through troublesho troubleshooting of like what may could go wrong when making your cake pops and then she'll then goes into the projects of them. So, and she does getting started with cake and what she uses, like the first one, she uses this, once you know how to make a basic cake, cake pop, it's easy to start making the projects in this book or create your own out of this world designs. Makes 48 cake pops you'll need and this and for this one she uses a box cake mix and then she tells you how to make the cake pops and then she sometimes has tips in these little gray book boxes right there so and in this version ew, there's all the steps have are pictured here where I'm assuming in the physical copy they would be next with the steps So tools and take techniques like crumbling the cake, uh, creating the shape where a lot of the, the cake pops in here are the basic round one, but some of them you do shape the ball into like a ghost or a house. So candy coating, melting methods, and decorations and so dippings, do and don'ts. And I think this is like, I'm not a baker or I've never tried to make a cake pop, but this seems to be a nice little introduction if you are starting around Halloween to make cake pops and a good little way into making it in further on. So you got different different things that you would need, like like the baking materials, whether it's like a pan or like spoons or whatever, and then after she goes through these, she does go into the different projects and so you have a picture of it and this one's jack-o'-lanterns and you got like scarecrows and then you get what you'll need and to decorate and how to do it and that's the process for each one Then she shows you how to make a few different 
things like buttercream frosting, cream cheese frosting, red or green velvet cake, and a chocolate cake, too, at the end, yellow cake. So, and these ones are actual, like, you make them um, and not boxed versions. And then you do get resources at the end, cake and candy making, which are, you get websites for those. Cake pop stands, again, you get web a few websites. Candy, like Candy Warehouse, Dylan's Candy Bar, M&M's. Uh, and then you get candy coatings, makingmold.com, and Wilton, Wilton.com, candy coloring, molds, oil, craft stores like Hobby Lobby, Michaels. And last time I was on Michaels, can't I can't order anything because I don't think they would ship to Canada. <laughs> Um, you get edible ink pens, striped straws and sticks, um, Bakerella for Macon Mold. So, available at MaconMold.com slash Bakerella. So, and what would be offered. And then you get Cake Pops Projects Photo Index. So, instead of regular index, you get the picture and what page it would be on. So, you got like ghosts, candy corn, eyeballs, like a cauldron, a spider type thing, and then an actual index at the end, and so yeah, and other stuff available for through her. So So, like, if you are the type of person who is a baker, likes or likes just like doing the cake pops type thing, or if Halloween is the time of, like, is your holiday that you like, this could be something to have a look into. So, Cake Pops Halloween by Bakerella. Happy readings.